city of Titusville condemned this apartment building after Hurricane Irma left a lot of damage behind. But now it's a race for management to fix the apartments and for displaced tenants to get their things back. And as News 6's James Barbero explains, this latest situation presents more problems for a building with a history of similar trouble. The story is all new at 5.30. Two weeks after Irma, dozens of displaced tenants are still living in Titusville hotels like this Best Western. It's like what happened after Hurricane Matthew last year, but this time the building is condemned. We wasted a lot of money on hotel bills and now we have nothing. Out $700 of her own money, Crystal Colifrath says she's now getting help from FEMA to keep her family off the streets. We're just trying to get our stuff out. We're trying to figure yeah, out what's going on. That. The mother of three and about 75 other tenants are kicked out out after Hurricane Irma damaged the north building of Bay Towers. The south building has been condemned since a fire in 2008. Yesterday, the other building joined it. A year ago, a similar story. Hurricane Matthew also displaced everyone living here. The city deemed the building uninhabitable, but it was not condemned. So after two months of repairs, Bay Towers reopened. Tonight, management tells us even though it's now condemned, they again have an opportunity to fix the building and like last year, they intend to reopen. We had just paid our rent, you know, caught all the bills up. Back at the hotel, displaced tenants agree they won't come back, even if the building is fixed. Is management helping you as much as you want to get help? They're really not speaking to everyone. Every time we ask, they, they don't know anything. The days we weren't there for that month need to be reimbursed to us, plus the, the security deposit needs to be needs to come back. In Titusville, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.